Okay, so we only have two stages left, and I gotta say, I am super excited for this one because the team is pretty damn crazy. So with that said, let's jump into stage 49, All Out Struggle, and hopefully we have some decent options for uh, the LR Blue Boys. Let's go Super Fizz. Okay, yeah, some good options. So. The first one is a fully maxed out level 5 attack skill orb, uh, level 4 crit as well, level 4 dodge, so that's looking really, really good. Now this one is, uh, okay, more defensive, level 5 crit, level 4 additional. Uh, a bit of a tough choice, honestly, because they're both maxed out. They both look really good, but I think having the additional defense actually is more important here so let's go for this one okay so this is the team as you can see a full LR team we got the double LR blue boys we have the AGL LR Gohan the tech LR Gohan the int LR Super Saiyan blue evolution Vegeta the fizz LR max power master Roshi and finally tech LR Goku and Frieza, a uh, very overpowered team, I would say, but I do expect this stage to be a little bit harder because of how good the category is. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's the team, same items as always, and uh, we're jumping in, we're jumping in. Okay, so ideal rotations for this team would be double Gohans, and then definitely SSBE and probably the blue boys. So SSB Vegeta, LR blue boys, and then AGL Gohan and Tech Gohan. So because of that, we're definitely gonna be taking the AGL Gohan out of rotation here. And I think this guy should go later for sure. And looking at the defense, 168,000 for Vegeta. Very good. Uh, very bad defense for the Go Frieza, but of course they get a big boost when they super. And luckily there are no attacks in the middle anyway, so not a big deal. And I'm gonna use the Icarus first, as I always do. So let's go for uh, definitely Krillin with the Vegeta. Let's, uh... Ooh, we're so close to an 18 key super, that sucks. That's rough. All right, so uh, I think we should be able to kill Krillin this turn. I would be pretty surprised if he survives all the attacks from these three units, but it's possible, I guess. It's definitely possible. So we got a dodge from Vegeta, and I think my Vegeta only has the, you know, built-in level five dodge, which means that with a 5% chance to dodge, we actually managed to dodge. So this is why recently I've been coming around to the idea of maybe actually giving level 5 dodge to, or rather level 3 dodge, to uh, all of my units, which is something that, as you guys know, uh, Truth likes to do a lot, and a lot of people that follow him have started doing as well, this 3 dodge thing. It's been, I think, a bit of a heavy debate, or a hot topic in the Dokkan community, you know, like some people like it, some people think it's dumb, um, and I was one of those people that really, I didn't think it was dumb, like I understood the you know, thought process behind it, I just kind of felt like it wasn't really necessary, right? And, uh, you know, over time, like I said, I think I've started to come around to the idea that, hey, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Maybe it's not such a bad idea, because I've seen too many units, um, you know, getting dodge with, like, only level 3 dodge or level 5 dodge, so... It's definitely come clutch for me a couple times, and you know, if you're a level 3 dodge person, go for it. I definitely don't judge. I think it's totally fine to give your units a 3 dodge as opposed to some more additional or more crit. Uh, for the most part though, I still tend to give, you know, dodge or rather uh, crit or additional over dodge, but every once in a while, like for my STR LR Broly for example, I did give him 3 dodge, and uh, even though it doesn't activate that often, you know, sometimes when it does, it could be in a critical moment where 
I would have died otherwise, right? So it's nice to have. It's nice to know that you have that like safety blanket or that safety net if you ever need it, you know? Uh, but anyways, getting back to the stage here, uh, this team is kind of OP, man. <laughs> this team is kind of overpowered for this stage. Like, it's it's looking like kind of a joke right now. It's looking like kind of a joke right now. It's ironic that this stage is called, or the category is all out struggle, right, for this stage. But the stage itself is kind of the opposite. It's really not a struggle at all, at least so far, you know what I mean? So, yeah, irony. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's leave Roshi where he is. I think we'll leave Vegeta where he is as well. So everybody is just in the right spot right now, and I'll definitely pop the Whis um, to start our turn, and let's go for 17. I mean, I want to save these orbs for Vegeta, but at the same time, I really want to get an 18 key super with Roshi. So we'll give those to, Ro to Roshi. Uh, Vegeta, we know he does good damage anyways because of the built-in crit. And uh, I'll give these the Goku and Frieza. By the way, guys, if you happen to hear a little kid screaming in the background, <laughs> don't be concerned, okay? It's my brother. He's playing Minecraft with his... Uh, with his friends upstairs and he is getting very excited so I think occasionally he might hear him uh, shout a little bit or whatever it's not a big deal though nothing to be concerned about just making sure to uh, you know get that out there to make sure you guys are aware because you know if you, if you hear a kid yelling in the background in a video sometimes there might be cause for concern but you guys have seen my brother in the videos so you guys know it's good. <laughs> you guys know it's good. Yo, for people that just came to the channel, they're like, yo, what is going on with this guy, man? There's something bad happening. I feel like I should, I should contact the authorities. But no, trust me. It's fine. It's just my brother. Just playing Minecraft. It's all good. Okay. Uh, so we sealed the 17, and now we finally have our Gohans together, man, after a million turns. Uh, which is good. Let's go for 17 here. Obviously switch it up to 18 with the Tech Gohan. Let me see. Okay, so if I give these to Gohan, uh, we'll get some decent orbs for the blue boys. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I don't really feel like we've taken that much damage up to this point. I mean, those normals actually did quite a bit. Um... Well, I think this team is just a little bit overpowered for this stage. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it hasn't been too much of a challenge so far. Actually, I think it might, at least up to this point, it's felt like the easiest stage we've done um, out of the nine, right? We're on stage 49 right now. There's only 50 after this. And maybe I should have brought a less... Uh, LR intensive team for this run just to give ourselves a bit more of a challenge, you know? But hey, what, what's that is done? We can't go back, so let's, let's uh, finish things up. I don't think Vegeta really needs any items to, to help him with his defense because he has a lot of defense. He also has the damage reduction, so yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Here we go. So there's the super. It's gonna do how much? Okay, well. Good thing it was a Vegeta. Good thing it was Vegeta and not somebody else. Because that could have ended very poorly. <laughs> that, that could have ended very poorly. Alright, so um... Contrary to what I just said, what I said like two minutes ago, you know, there's, there's still a bit of a challenge here. You know, if, if you if you don't, uh, if you don't play your items correctly, if you don't, you know, pay attention enough, you could still get wrecked. You can you can definitely still get wrecked. So I'm a pop a princess snake. Let's heal up and also get some nice damage reduction there. And you know what? Just to be 
extra safe. We're gonna pop the Icarus too, because that last turn actually scared me a little bit. I think I think we'll still be just fine. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think we're really gonna be in trouble, but um there was a little bit of cause for concern, let's just say. <laughs> okay, so obviously we're gonna go for Gohan. Uh let me see actually. Okay, so we're gonna go for Gohan with Gohan. And then other Gohan goes for Gohan as well. And oh man. I just realized we might have messed up a little bit. Um I mean we'll probably be fine, but I I can't I can't super with these guys, which means we're missing out on a lot of defense. Kinda messed up. I kinda wanna reset the game, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to because people are gonna say, oh you're a cheater, oh you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> instead what I'm gonna do is pop an aider just to get a little bit more defense so I don't feel like we're gonna just die immediately if we take a super. And uh, we'll just do it this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So Gohan's getting supered. That's good. That's gonna be, you know, very chill. Very chill. And Piccolo's super was the one I was the most worried about anyways because he uh, has type advantage, right? Oh, this is good. This is perfect. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, no, there was a minor scare there, but now that we uh, got the two supers out of the way, um, I don't have to be too concerned about the, you know, Goku and Frieza. Um, I'm not sure if actually bringing them was a good choice, because obviously, if you aren't able to get them, uh, you know, to consistently 18 key super, then they're really not that amazing, right? Their 12 key super is just whatever, so. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the, the, the best choice to bring them, but it's okay. We're almost done. Uh, let's go for... This is tough, man. Like, I, I want to save these once again for Vegeta, but I don't want to, like, mess up the rotation like that, so... Uh, I guess I'll give these to the blue boys. We can still... Ooh, we can't get a super... I mean, Vegeta's going to probably additional super anyways. And uh, we'll just give him one Int Orb, so we can get these for the blue boys. There we go. Let's try to kill Piccolo this turn if we can. That would be... That'd be great. So try your best. No pressure though. No pressure. Good damage. And of course, we have a ton of items activated right now, so we don't have to worry about taking that much for supers. Although, you know, type advantage, super, is still something to be concerned about. It's still something to be careful with. Okay, well, it's okay. We didn't take that much, actually. And there's another super, I'm going to say 100k. I was way off. I was way off. 50, well, 58 damage, was it? 58 damage. All right. Cool. Well, guys, um, let's pop uh, Princess Snake. Let's go for uh, Ultimate Gohan, who should very much be dead after the super, but if not, this should kill him. And uh, Roshi might actually, I mean, it's the 12 key, so it's not going to do much damage, but it could still be enough to actually kill Piccolo. But uh, we'll see. We have to kill Gohan first. But I think Gohan should be dead after the two younger Gohans attack him. Hmm, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. If we get a crit here or an additional, then for sure. Oh. Okay, so we got both. So the crit was not enough, but he had like a sliver of HP and this is definitely going to do him in. There we go. And now Roshi. Do the honors. Get us out of here. Oh, okay, he didn't, but he's stunned. 
Well, hey, you know what? This is good. This is good because now we get to pop the SSB Vegeta active skill, which I haven't seen in uh, a good minute. I haven't seen this animation in probably a couple of months, so it's nice that we are able to get it off. And this is a good way to end it. There you have it. And that is All Out Struggle, guys. Um, like I said, you know, bit of an ironic name because <laughs> the stage was not a struggle for this team. But once again, you know, pr pr it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty good team. It's a pretty good team. So I shouldn't have really expected to uh, have any issues. Now, that's nine down, guys. One to go. We got Saviors as stage 50, the final stage. Um, given the pace we've been going through these, I think I will do a stage 50 later today. So if you guys are watching these in succession, then definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys uh, have missed all of my other Super Battle Road videos, they're all on the channel now. They're pretty much the last like 10 videos, so feel free to go check those out. And... I guess that is all there is to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.